What's up guys, this is Sherrick talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to defeat the battle with 3 folk romancing stage. It's actually not that hard, I almost did with a full nuke setup, but then the damage was too much so I proceed with a more defensive party. Well, this boss is just weak to slash and heat, there are plenty of slash options for bosses, those that stack. Uh, but we also have to defend against plenty of nasty stuff. As you can see, there's Poison Stun, Charm, and Paralyze. It attacks with the three physical types, then Heat, Lightning, and Sun. That's too much, right? Yeah, you should equip yourself with things that fixes your weaknesses so you don't take too much damage from a particular element. And let me tell you the first strategy I'll be using. Uh, uses Rising Phoenix Axe, we're gonna see this formation for a while. Uh, here I'm gonna showcase two characters that stack and they are actually pretty amazing depending on the boss fights. It's a mix it setup, I have the new Gustav here because he has Scrum Guard, that's actually very good. And he also has Steel Dominance, this attack here has this effect that applies defensive stance spell, decreasing spell damage by 35%. Most of the attacks from the bosses are magical, though not all of them. So Scrum Guard will at least work all the time, while the defensive stance spell will not, but it will help. Then another character that works together is Golden Ball, because if the boss has hybrid attacks, sometimes having both will work, because Golden Ball will just give you endurance when she gets hit, and will also give you guard up with Shrine Dance. So you can stack all of these effects together to receive very low damage, either physical or magical. Since I'm buffing Will with Fiona Feast, I don't need Halloween Princess White Rose. It will be too much. And then I bring two cards to have the rest of the abilities I need, like Rag Robin that will heal with his Two Blade Phoenix, and then Leon charging his gun. Since I'm buffing Will, I'm also buffing Naxxrity, and when he gets to attack, the boss will Well, Polka is super helpful here if Tree Folk uses physical attacks, we're gonna get some counters. Well, we don't use Steel Blade Phoenix on turn 1, instead we use Shrine Dance, Steel Dominance, uh, Wind Revolver, and Pian of Peace. This boss can attack with a Charm attack right from the start, you should bring accessories that increase resistance to ailments, but it may still fail, and then you have to restart the fight. Like this! I just restarted, let's see if it works this time. Tree Folk does have a very high HDT, it seems. It attacks before my network. This time it didn't inflict charm, at least. It inflicted poison, but that's not much of a problem. We are decreasing magical damage by a lot. We can even skip one more turn. Gustav can use healing blade in between. But he does not have enough VP. But he's probably the character that will have the highest HP most of the time. Oak also negates fire, that's actually very good. Sometimes he may counter. I hope he does. I guess from now on we are kind of safe from Yumi's. Turn 3 and wards, you already have enough buffs. Now it's time to use Blade Phoenix. Under Shrine Dance. Under Seal Dominance. And keep loading the gun with the boy. I don't think it changes anything by using Shrine Dance and Seal Dominance together on a combo. Although this skill actually increases in level. Yes, a counter. It's now taunting. So who knows if it increases. I'll need to check that out. This time we heal it. We're gonna heal for a lot. Because yes, we are both in love and charisma. Can skip one turn. This is the last Wind Revolver. If you feel like you're in danger, just heal with Matrak.
That is the last gun. Lean Ivy is indirect. Most of the attacks are indirect. Very nice, negating fire. Now it's time for full overdrive. We can kind of wait if we want. Am I using quick draw now? Or not. Or not. Mian is gonna do more damage on the next turn because of, well, the buffing endurance. Good anti material shot. But Wind Chaser will already do enough. 70,000 per hit. Of course, it's the Remembrance gun. Yeah, you are pretty much dead now. Got poisoned. Funny. Right on the end of the fight. Seems like at least the chance to poison is pretty high. I want to uh, use... Well, I could draw. I'm just going to use anti-material shot. Because it may be enough to kill the boss. But if it's not, then next turn we'll do. Blind Forest is very strong if you don't have a defensive party. Yeah, it won't be enough, but then quick draw on the next turn, it will. <laughs> oh, I love to kill. <laughs> and a counter. That's it. Okay, so this other team uses a different way to sustain, and it's important to showcase that you don't need to rely on the same strategies always. Of course, Matchwork and Leon are top game, they will be most squads, especially since Leon just got a rerun. I will not run a Leonless strategy because I don't think many people will skip Leon anyway. So, uh, the thing here is Joe. Robin Joe is very strong on this fight because of Spectacle Portal hitting for fire. She can also use Headbutt in between turns that buffs intelligence, reducing damage. You can finish the fight with Sparkling Eyes. This does a lot of damage, and I have the uh, Fusion Pro with the Staff Master Stone. Another character that's actually very useful here is Eagle Maul because she debuffs SDR with Shadow Hands. Eventually, she can just keep using Malicious Trick that decreases damage by 15% and stacks for another turn for a minus 30%. And if you can keep this up. And then if you have an OPP, you can finish with Refined Black. Uh, then the other character is Nawal's daughter with the Water Fashion. We inherited that should help a lot. Okay, it's important to say that Eagle Maul is exactly very strong in fights where she can take advantage of Shadow Haze. And if she dies, she revives. She's exactly a very useful tool for boss fights. Um, let's use Water Fashion. We'll head, but and the wind revolver. They really get surprised at how useful this Eagle Maul can become. She may die here and there, but okay, she revives anyway. We don't have any screw guard this time. Our healer will be matchwork. This is important because sometimes just using uh, matchwork will be enough to heal. Probably have to heal the next turn. We have another headbutt because you want to take some turns to use Joe's nuke because she keeps buffing intelligence every turn. So the more you wait, the more damage you inflict. She also has good speed, so the buffing intelligence with headbutt will also help. See, damage is decreasing even without um, Scrum Guard. We can still wait a little more before we start using uh, Heal. Like, Malicious Trick will decrease the damage even further, so we will even do that. Time for Robin Gaul to use Spectacle Portal. 
And let's see how much damage we inflict. Well, it was too much. He would not survive. But she will revive on the end of a turn. She's on the position that increases the chance of being attacked anyway. See? <laughs> Metro got a lot of damage there too. Uh, we'll go use Malicious Trick, Piano of Protection, Water Festival. We will return to Headbutt for now. The end is already getting close to attack. Now you manage to attack and decrease the damage. Dog getting smashed right on start. Eagle Mall doesn't have a defensive passage, she takes big damage, but then uh, since she decreases the incoming damage by a different way, she's good enough. Time for Lian to attack. Like I said, this fight's not that long. As soon as Lian gets to attack, he has like 3 turns to finish the boss. And Joe is a secondary attacker, kinda like Polka. I could have used uh, Eagle Maul Nuke, but Malicious Trick just keeping me safe here. And again, better symptoms, sorry. I still have enough for a nuke. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this nuke now. Just for fun. Because we will win on this turn. We can use Trico or Tread Carnival to increase the damage by Leon. We also have Spartanite. It's over. It's over. Totally over. We'll be able to do this one turn before we did with the older squad that was more defensive. Although this one survived the same. Just Eagle Maul died, but it was not a problem. <laughs> Even got a combo for nukers in a way. That would be interesting. I guess she would hit for like 40k per hit. Even more than 40k. Yeah, as you see, those two different strategies work it. You don't need to have the same units. Try to be creative if you don't have uh, the ones I use it. But I hope this video helps you defeating this boss fight. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the description of the video. I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye.